morning sun I'll be sitting in the evening guns Watching the ships roll in And I watch them on the way again I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Looks like nothing's gonna come my way I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Watching the tide So let's take a look at the chords that are needed for this song. Now this first version I'm gonna show is just the rhythm guitar part. So you need a G, B7, and I'm not making a chord chart because you can play these chords in different positions. So B7, you can play it there, you can play it there, you can play it here. So there's, you have a wide variety of choices of how you want to play this song, but it's basically you need a G, a B7, a C, an A. Okay, and I picked these inversions for a reason, because this one, rather than play an open C, you can play, you can go down like that easily from this version, also from this one, down to your A. But I like this A because you can, Flick on and off that note, that uh, third fret note on the second string, which is reminiscent of this part. And we'll talk about that later, the lead guitar line. So G, B7, C, A. You also need G and E. And the A, again. Um, for the middle part, it's basically G. D, C, and then there's, it goes down to an F, back to a D. So the chords are pretty basic and you can play them in a lot of different positions for just a simple rhythm for this song. Sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting when the evening comes. Watching the ships roll in And I watch them roll away again I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Ooh, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Wasting time I left my Cause I had nothing to live for Looks like nothing's gonna come my way Just gonna sit on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Wasting time change everything still remains the same I can't do what ten people tell me to do so I guess I remain the same sitting here resting my bones and this loneliness won't leave me alone two thousand miles I roam just to make this dock my home Sit on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Ooh, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Here's the intro off a of G chord. So what I'm doing is I'm lifting my ring finger, my third finger, off the note, off this G major bar chord. I'm hammering it back on. Now my 
right hand is just going up and down. So it's hitting the bass note, treble notes, and then back to the G. So I'm hitting that fifth string, hammering on, treble notes, again, and then G, and then high notes. So the lead guitar part starts off in this shape position, okay, which is a D-shaped chord, like the D, but you're playing the bottom four strings of that chord shape up on the seventh fret. So that's, that's a G chord right there, because the root note is this note right here, which is G. So basically it starts off G, up to B, then to C, all the way down to A, each note down to A, okay, back to G. So, but he does little flourishes on each chord. So on the G, there's So what I did on the, off the G is I added the A note right there on the the tenth fret of the second string. Up to the C. Now when you're on the A, you can do so it's just like taking a D chord up here and adding your pinky finger. Except you're doing it here. Off that A chord. So another little uh, difference that happens is off the G, up to the B, then he goes, plays an A shape up here, and that's the 13, 14, 15, 16, 17th fret. And then back to the C. So those are little, that's the, just the verse section of the lead guitar. The next lead guitar part is during the chorus, and it sounds like this. I'll play that lead guitar part over the chorus very slowly. The bridge section for the lead guitar sounds like this. The lead guitar during the bridge section plays different versions on the chords. So it starts off by sliding up into that G chord on the 7th fret. Sliding into a D on the 5th and down to a C on the 3rd. Up to the G, up to the D, down to the C. The last line of the bridge goes like... I can't do what 10 people tell me to do. So there I'm sliding down from a G to an F and then you go up to a high D. So again, that line goes. I can do what ten people tell me to do. So I guess I'll remain the same. The outro sounds like this. Outro is the part where the whistling happens, and it's a G and an E section. So it's just like the intro for the G. And then 
you go up to an E, so on the E you're hammering on the fourth string note. Same type of picking pattern as that intro. 